Atiku Abubakar also used fake primary secondary school certificate to run for president. President Tidumbu tells Supreme Court. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu has decided to also do a 50-50 as he charges the Supreme Court to zoom into the certificate that Atiku Abubakar used for his sec primary and secondary school education. Remember, since the expose by the CSU, Chicago State University, where the certificate of the governor of the president was released to the public after several pleas by the president to CSU not to release the certificate to Atiku Abubakar, but the court ruled and it's been shared online with so many debates, accusations, and analysis going on, especially with the gender review where it had the president with the female gender noted on his certificate. Since then, it's been a lot of back and forth as Nigerians have shared their concerns about the identity theft that has taken place, while some are alleging that maybe because the result was gotten by a third party, so many discussions have gone on. But now, President Bola Metinubu has decided to say that Article 2 also used fake primary secondary school certificates to run for president. As you may also recall, before this came about, when um, Article gave the World Conference where it addressed Nigerians, immediately the expose was made saying that, you know, it's not going to back down until it goes to the Supreme Court and all of that. So many loyalists of the president have lent a voice to this saying that um, Article is only being vexed because Bola Ahmed Tinubu worked against him years ago and not letting him realize his political ambition of being the president. Everybody knows that Atiku is a serial contestant for the post of presidency in Nigeria since 1993 during the election of the late MKO Kashimawo, Moshut Kashimawo Olawale Abiola, the winner of the June 12, 1993 presidential election that is termed as the freest and fairest election Nigeria has ever had. Now, with this, let's get into the news. President Bola Tinubu has leveled serious allegations of identity fraud and forgery against his primary opponent, Atiku Abubakar, in an attempt to punch holes in the PDP's presidential appeal to have him disqualified at the Supreme Court. According to Mr. Tinubu's counter affidavit filed at the Apex Court on October 12, 2023, the Nigerian leader accused Mr. Bubaka of submitting fake credentials to Nigeria's Electoral Commission, INEC, in that he bought Atiku Kojoli on his primary school certificate and Siddiq Abubaka on his 1965 West African Schools Certificate and General Certificate of exam Examination. While it has previously been reported a change of name at Redavid showing that Mr. Abubakar in August 1973 legally regularized his name from Siddiq Abubakar to Atiku Abubakar, there is no clear explanation for the other name, Atiku Kojoli. Mr. Tinubu contends that there is no guarantee that Mr. Abubakar was the man he claimed to be because of the inconsistencies in the names of the primary and secondary school certificate. It is the first appellant acclaimed primary school certificate bearing the name Atiku Kojoli and its purported 1965 West African School Certificate and General Certificate of Examination bearing the name Siddiq Abubakar, as opposed to the name Atiku Abubakar, which he claims to Nigerians and INEC to be his, that are yet to be explained by Jeddah Primary School Adamawa, which he claimed to have attended. The University of Cambridge Local Examination Syndicate, West African Examination Council, or such other credible institutions with the capacity to do so. Asserted Mr. Tinumbu in his counter affidavit submitted to the Senior Court on October 12 at 4.42 p.m. Now, shown to me, attached here to and marked as Exhibit 9, is a copy of the said Siddiq Abuaka's 1965 West African School Certificate and general certificate of examination submitted by the first appellant, the president added. On October 5th, Mr. Abubakar filed a motion at the Apex Court to introduce fresh evidence of forgery 
that contained a disposition of Chicago State University CSU Registrar Caleb Westberg saying he could not authenticate the certificate Mr. Tinubu tendered to INEC because the institution did not issue it. But Mr. Tinubu's team of lawyers are fiercely opposing the motion, requesting that the Supreme Court give a judgment only on the basis of evidence admitted in the first court of trial while the presidential elections petitions tribunal had in September dismissed all the petitions filed by Mr. Abubakar against Mr. Tinubu. The ultimate decision, however, lies with the apex court justices whose interpretation of law and carriage of justice could either land Mr. Tinumbu a hard-won victory or defeat. So, this is what has been going on now that the president has decided to also punch Atiku Abubakar by saying, look into Atiku Abubakar's record as well. Why is there disparity in the name? And how legalized are uh, the claimed Avidavi that he said he make? We are try trying to join the triangle of who Siddiq Abubakar Abu is and also Atiku Kojoli to who to Atiku Abubakar. Now, the questions a lot of people are asking is could this be true that, yes, Atiku Abubakar might have regularized his, the names, you know, by swearing an Avidavi years ago? Or could it be that there are other human beings that are known by that name? These are many more questions that are coming. So it is now a case of 50-50 since the hole is being punched in Atiku's case. Remember that when this query started, it was Dele Momodu who shared on Twitter and Instagram that people have been asking him about his principal. His principal is Atiku Abubakar. Um, his principal's educational qualifications and certificates and all of that. And the report is what we've heard now that, you know, it's called Siddiq and Atiku Kojoli. What's your opinion on this? Please, we'd like to hear from you. It is just very interesting times when Nigerians are supposed to face squarely the issues, the million and one issues that are confronting the average Nigerians every day in terms of everything. All aspects of life of the Nigerian right now is not at this peak. But what do we do? Please share your opinion in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always, always stopping by. We'll see you in the next video. Like I always say, may God bless Nigeria. Thank you one more time. See you in the next video. Bye for now.